there's around nine mega mines proposed for Queensland. So this means that they're going to be cutting out chunks of reef to make way for coal ships to come through. Damage to our local water supplies, it'll have huge impacts on local people's health. Impacts of the dust from the coal terminals blowing into their homes already is causing so many health effects. It's about people and it's about our future. There are plans to double Australia's coal exports in the next few years. If that happens, it's game over for the climate. The International Energy Agency recently told us we have around five years to avoid catastrophic climate change. We haven't built these ports yet, we haven't built all these mines yet, so we've got a really good shot at making that choice and moving on to renewable energy. So we're at a crossroads where we can continue investing in the climate crisis and continue pumping out coal, or we can head down towards renewable energy and a clean climate future. Investing in 100% renewable energy will create thousands of jobs and if we do it now we can save the reef. We don't have to go down this path of ripping up coal um, from across the state of Queensland. We don't have to rip out parts of the reef. We can protect that part of the world. As the people who are going to inherit the future, it's really up to us. It feels amazing to be connected to this movement with tens of thousands of young people all over Australia who want to make the same change. We have a chance to invest in the solutions and stop the problem. We need to harness all the power we can get from all across the country and we can only do that if each young person stands up and takes action and uses their voice and says, I want to invest in the solutions. We really do have a chance of securing a more sustainable world, so it's really important that we act now. Tonight.